WCAX Channel 3 Sports, sponsored by Xfinity Mobile. 2023 was a banner year for some of our local college teams as we continue our year in review series. Michael Dugan takes a look back at the last 12 months for Dartmouth and our D2 and D3 schools. The Winter Sports Championship months saw some of our local teams compete for national championships with a handful squaring off against each other in the postseason. On the ice, both Norwich hockey teams found themselves in the NCAA tournament, with the women falling in the first round after capturing an NEHC title and the men squeaking past Plattsburgh State before losing in round number two. Speaking of the Cardinals, their women's hockey team went 26-3 on the year, taking down Middlebury in the national quarterfinals to move on to the Frozen Four before seeing their year end at the hands of the eventual champions, Gustavus Adolphus. The Panthers couldn't get back to back, but did make it to the NCAA tournament for the third straight time. The men's team saw a change in leadership after its season ended as Neil Sinclair stepped down after leading the Panthers since 2015. Meanwhile, the Middlebury men's hoops team hosted a pair of NCAA tournament games, advancing to the second round along the way. Down in Castleton, the Spartans men's Alpine team made program history, capturing its first ever national championship, winning the slalom and overall titles, while the Dartmouth ski team picked up fifth in nationals. In the springtime, Middlebury caught fire. The women's lacrosse team cruised through the NCAA tournament and route to its fourth national crown in eight years, defeating their postseason opponents by an average of 10 goals per contest. Star Jane Early was named Division III Honda Athlete of the Year in June, the second straight Panther to win the award, joining former teammate Aaron Nicholas. The men's lacrosse squad earned an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, making it all the way to the quarterfinals, while the Panther women's tennis team made a run to the final four, and the baseball team made it to the tournament as well. St. Michael's baseball got some national attention too, as Orwell native Andrew Lanthier made it onto SportsCenter with this flashy top 10 worthy grab. The fall began with some sad news in Hanover as Dartmouth football coaching legend Buddy Tevens passed away following injuries from a bike accident back in March. Big Green would rally behind interim head coach Sammy McCorkle to win four of their last five conference games to earn a share of the Ivy League crown just 60 days after Tevens' passing. McCorkle was named permanent head coach for Dartmouth in October. Over in Middlebury, Doug Mandigo put on the headset as head coach of the Panthers for the first time and ended his inaugural season at the helm with a NESCAC championship, finishing 8-1 on the year. The battle for the Maple Sap Bucket delivered once again, with Norwich claiming the trophy for the fifth straight game after a 28-14 victory in Castleton. Speaking of trophies, Middlebury Field Hockey won another one, a sixth straight to be exact, in an unbeaten fashion. The 22-0 Panthers outscored opponents 29-2 in the NESCAC and NCAA tournaments combined, leaving no doubt as they cemented the eighth overall title for the program. The men's soccer team enjoyed an NCAA tournament run to the quarterfinals, ending the year 15-2-4, while the Norwich men's soccer squad made it to a conference championship. Moving inside, the Panther volleyball team earned an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, winning a first-round match along the way. Which brings us back to the winter teams, who are well into their current seasons, and many off to pretty good starts, especially at St. Michael's. The men's basketball team is 8-2. Women's hoops has already earned three more wins than they did all of last year, and men's hockey entered break above 500. From trophies to triumph and a whole lot in between, 2023 had plenty of stories, and we'll see what's in store for 2024.